Welcome. So in previous videos, we got this result and this result. This result we are going to call parallel because our point P is parallel in direction to A. We're going to call this result perpendicular because this point P is perpendicular to the result A. These are great. These are perfect, exact answers. They're a little bit complicated, but not by too much. What we want to do is we want to make an approximation because for both of these cases, these are very similar to dipoles. Dipoles we use in chemistry and all over. And with dipoles, this distance A will oftentimes be 10 to the negative 9, 10 to the negative 10 meters, something on that order, whereas this distance L can be tens, hundreds, thousands of times more than the distance A. So we're going to make a dipole approximation so that L is much, much larger than A. So what does this mean if we have L is much, much larger than A? It means that multiplication is still multiplication. Division is still division. But addition and subtraction are going to be a little bit different. L squared minus A over 2 squared, or A squared over 4, is going to be approximately equal to L squared. L squared plus A squared over 4 is going to be approximately equal to L squared. So what we can do is we can take a look at each of these equations and simplify them a bit for how we're doing. So since I'm over here, let's do this. So L squared plus A over 2 squared, we can kind of just cross out to some degree once I get a part that works for me, this part. So now that I have, right, E perpendicular is going to be KPA over, and now we look at L squared to the 3 halves is just going to be L to the third power, negative J half. And we'll use this, right, for L much, much larger than A. So if L and A are on the same order of magnitude, same scale, we can't use this approximation, but if it's the dipole approximation where L is much, much larger than A, then we can have this. Let's take a look at over here. So over here we have a similar thing. We have this L squared minus A squared over 4 goes away. And so now we get E parallel is K2LA cubed over L squared squared, L to the fourth, I hat over here. Just a tiny bit more of cancellation to do. This L cancels-ish with that, right? We get a third power here. And so now we have our electric field parallel is going to be 2K AQ over L to the third, I hat, right? And this is again, 4L much, much larger than A. So these are our dipole approximations. We have two different dipole fields. We can look at right, much more complicated videos for everywhere, but this is a nice enough for now, looking at parallel to the dipole distance A and looking at perpendicular to the dipole distance A.